in 1729 in Lima, in the uh, Audiencia de Lima, the, the legal courts of Lima, there was a, a lawsuit. This was a lawsuit uh, against uh, the uh, account, uh, a, a Peruvian account who has left uh, many uh, goods and farms to his uh, sons and daughters. And there was uh, a lawsuit against them. A part of the lawsuit is to determine what was the precise price of uh, Aguardiente de Pisco in the year 1726. So in this lawsuit, the uh, one of the parts present uh, several witnesses that present documents and give testimony about the price of Pisco in the year 1726. Uh, maybe you can read it in the, uh, this uh, piece of, of, the, uh, of the lawsuit uh, that it mentions that they were buying Aguardiente de Pisco in order to sell it to cities as Guayaquil and Tierra Firme. Tierra Firme was the, uh, the name that was used to name uh, Central America, especially the uh, captaincy general of uh, Guayaquil. So for, for Peruvians already in the beginning of, of, of the 18th century, the trade and the use of name Pisco to establish a trade and the exchange between, between Peru and, and many areas of, uh, of uh, South America and, and Central America, it was very common. It was a, a product that was part of our export. So, so we have been exporting Pisco for more than 300 years. We are a traditional exporter of Pisco since, since the, uh, the end of 17th century and the beginning of the 18th century. 